Hi everybody, my name is Jens Larsen. You have pieces of music that had such a strong impact on you that you remember the first time that you heard them. And one of those is Pat Martino's version of Just Friends, which also quickly became one of the first solos that I tried to transcribe, even though the process was really slow and exhausting. In this video, I'm going to take three phrases from his solo, and then I'm going to talk about how they're typical for his playing and how you can add them to your own vocabulary. If you want to learn more about jazz guitar, improve the way that you solo, or check out some interesting arpeggios or voicings, then subscribe to my channel. If you want to make sure not to miss anything, then click the little bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. This first line is a great example of how melodic minor is becoming much more a part of the sound. So that's actually clear in the whole solo because what happens a lot is that Pamatino is using the major 7 sharp 5 arpeggio quite often. Uh, so in this case, he's sliding into, into the root here from, from a B flat, so up to the B, and then it's on a D flat 7 Lydian dominant, and uh, sliding into the B, and then playing the arpeggio. And also another thing that's typical is that he's starting to play arpeggios, not just up and down the arpeggio, but also using different patterns. And that's also what's happening here, so up to the third, then skipping up to the seventh, and then down to the to the sharp five. And you hear sort of the this sound clearly stand out in, in the line. Uh, and that's also something he uses already in the pickup to his solo with uh, something that he returns to a few times within the solo also. So it's really becoming sort of a very distinct part of the sound to use this major 7 sharp 5 arpeggio. So he plays uh, and then there's just a scale run up to the 5th and then a pretty sort of typical minor phrase here and then we get another yeah, melodic minor thing because we get a uh, an A flat minor major uh, arpeggio in inversion, so down to the G and then up to the A flat and then down the arpeggio and then resolving to the third of G minor. On this first album you can hear Pat Martino also use a lot of blues phrases, which is extremely typical for hard pop, but I think it's something that he really moves away from a bit on later albums. So in this case the first part of uh, the phrase is really just coming out of sort of a, an F blues phrase, so it's sliding in to the A. Of course, it's on a C7, but it is still just sort of an F major pentatonic type of phrase. Then on the A half diminished, sliding up to the fifth, and then a chromatic passing note down the scale. And then we get to the D7, so really clearly just nailing the F sharp on the one here. And then again playing a pattern of the arpeggio, so not just playing the arpeggio straight up and down. So up to the fifth, down to the flat nine, and then a leading note, and then root fifth. To me it's also kind of clear that on this album Pat Martino has checked out a lot of Wiss Montgomery and there are some phrases in here that are sort of his version of typical Wiss Montgomery phrases. And uh, this line is definitely an example of that. So what we have here is just this first sort of long chromatic run from D down to B flat, so like this, which is very typical for Pat Martino to have these longer chromatic passages in different ways. He also uses a lot of enclosures, as I've already shown you in the in the previous examples. So, and then an arpeggio with an extension, which is really typical for Wes. B flat major 9 on a G minor chord and then ending up on the C7. And if you've checked out a lot of Wiss Montgomery solos, like I think uh, all three of the solos that I've checked out for 4 and 6 have this uh, use of extended arpeggios, and uh, especially here in, also in G minor, so using just from G minor all the way up to the 11. And also sometimes using it just from the B flat, we have this B flat minor 9. I'm pretty sure that that's where Pat Martino got this idea from. Of course, I only took out three phrases of this solo to make this video. And there are a lot of really good phrases in here. Uh, I think, like, the, I already talked a little bit about how the, the pickup is sort of iconic and typical for his playing with the, with the major 7 sharp 5, or he also uses some side slipping with the, which is also kind of new for this era, I think, really to start using that in a different way than just using enclosures and target notes. I think it's also nice that he has this fill that 
where he makes the melodic minor scale sound like the whole tone scale. So there are a lot of stuff that uh, I could have talked about and if there's something that you think I really missed then uh, leave a comment on this video. If you want to check out another great jazz guitar player then check out this video on George Benson where I'm talking about not only what he plays in his lines in terms of scales and arpeggios but also how he really makes the melodies and why that works. If you want to learn more about jazz guitar and this is the first time you see one of my videos then subscribe to my channel. These are the kind of videos that I publish every week and if you want to help me keep making videos then check out my Patreon page. That's about it for this week. Thank you for watching and until next week.